Do not lower your goals to the level of your abilities. Instead, raise your abilities to the height of your goals. A patriot, yogi and a saint combined in him, Swami Vivekanand is one of the most influential spiritual leaders of all times. We all take inspiration from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. But do you know that Swami Vivekanand was his inspiration? Not only Dr. Abdul Kalam, Subhash Chandra Bose, Rabindranath Tagore, Mahatma Gandhi, Lal Bahadur Shastri, Bal Gangadhar Tilak, Nikola Tesla, and even Barack Obama. And many other great personalities were also positively influenced and inspired by Swami Vivekanand and his work. In today's video, I'll discuss five best inspirational and motivational stories from the life of Swamiji. We must learn lessons from these real incidents of Vivekanand's life. First one. One Swami Vivekanand was travelling through the great Himalayas. On his way, he saw an old traveller struggling to make it to his destination on top of the steep slope. Seeing Swamiji, the old man asked him as he bowed, Swamiji, how can I cross the upward slope? I've been trying since an hour, but it's all in vain. If I walk any more, my chest will burst. Swami Vivekanand heard the man patiently and then said, Look down at your feet. The road that is under your feet is the road you have passed over and over. And the road ahead of you will be under your feet very soon as well. Swamiji reminded him that it was also him who had crossed the roads previously and he can most definitely cross them again without any difficulty since he had done it himself before. These words emboldened the old man to resume his onward trek and he successfully reached his destination. In your life, magic is believing in yourself. Remember, if you did it once, you can very well make anything happen again. You need to trust yourself. Believe in yourself every single day. Remind yourself you have infinite potential. You have power. You can. You will. You are unstoppable. That's the secret of success. Second story. One beautiful morning in Sarnath. After visiting a temple, Swamiji was returning. He was soon attacked by a troop of large monkeys. It was the only way back and the monkeys weren't allowing him to cross. As he tried to pass them, they shrieked and caused chaos all around. The monkeys soon howled and even clutched Swamiji's feet. The monkeys soon started coming closer to Swamiji and he began running. Funnily enough, faster Swami Vivekanand ran, more the monkeys caused mayhem and tried to bite him. When it seemed impossible for him to run further, an old sannyasi called out loudly to him, Face the brutes! The sentence brought him to his senses. He stopped running and majestically turned to face the irate monkeys. As soon as he did that, all the monkeys fled. Swamiji then bowed to the sannyasi, thanking him and left. In your life, stop running away from your problems. 
Don't run, they will keep haunting you. Face them, you will realize you are stronger. You have ability to face them. Instead, run towards them. As the only way to escape fear is to trample it beneath your foot. When you run after your fear, fear will automatically go away from you. Third story. This incident happened when Swamiji returned after his great address at the World Parliament. He was wandering near the Himalayas and in front of him stood a majestic river. He sat down and waited for the boat to arrive from the other side. Whilst he was waiting, another sadhu came to him and said, Oh, you are the Vivekanand who thinks that just by speaking many languages, he can become a great sage? It does not work that way. See that river in front of you. I can cross it by walking on the water. Can you even dream of such a thing? And saying so, he demonstrates his words by walking a few meters in the river. Swamiji humbly replied, Dear Yogi, how long did it take for you to learn this? The sadhu said, With triumph in his voice, it took me 20 years of practice and intense tapasya along with extreme sadhana. Swamiji smiled. You wasted 20 years for something that a boat would help me to do in 5 minutes. You could have devoted these 20 years for the service of other people. You wasted 20 years for saving 5 minutes. That is not wisdom. In your life, become more aware of what's really worth your time, efforts and energy. Remember to invest your time, efforts and energy meticulously in enhancing wisdom and knowledge so you can become the best you can be. Your investment is your life, so invest wisely. Invest yourself, your life in something that truly matters to you as well as the society. Fourth Story Once Ramakrishna Paramhans, who was Swami Vivekanand's mentor, told all his disciples to steal rice. The next day all of them had rice with them, except Swamiji he had an empty bowl. On being asked the reason of his actions, Swamiji told that no matter how much he tried, he could never bring himself to steal because no matter how hard he tried to hide his deeds from the world, he would never be able to hide them from himself. This is the reason why Vivekananda turned out to be Guru Paramhan's favorite disciple. In your life, remember, wrong is wrong even if everyone is doing it and nobody is watching. Your deed follows you almost like a shadow. Don't forget that a bad deed always brings a punishment. You must keep in mind when you do wrong, God is watching you. Fifth Story Once in an address in Cairo, a lady asked Swami Vivekananda, If I have the desire, will I be able to do anything? Swamiji replied with a yes and added, You can even move the mountain away from your sight. And he pointed towards a mountain visible from the window of the hall. How? The lady questioned. Swamiji said, It is very simple job. Just close your eyes. Look at the mountain and say that you no longer exist in my eyes. The lady did as she was told and then added, I know you are still here and opened her eyes. She looked at Swamiji and said, The mountain is still here. I knew it. Swamiji gently smiled and said, Dear lady, maybe you were saying that you wish the mountain should disappear. But your heart kept saying that it won't vanish. So that's what happened. Your heart's ardent desires came true. 
the mountain still stands before your eyes in your life you can always make things happen if you believe in and the belief in things actually makes it happen belief is an invisible power emanating from the heart and the mind belief is the magic key to unlock your dreams don't dig up in doubt what you planted in faith hope you liked all five stories from the life of swami vivekananda if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel mom's advice and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video this is mom's advice motivation stories stay motivated stay blessed jai hind